What's up guys, welcome back to Road of the Two Comic Club. Um, again, we're gonna make this a short video again because that's really gonna help me catch up. So uh, if you do like the longer videos, let me know in the comments below, or if you're liking these shorter ones, just let me know, because I'm still trying to debate how much I wanna put out in terms of each video, because there can be a lot of stuff going on. So uh, with that said, I'll post a screenshot of how we did today. We lost a few grand. Um, our top performers, we had Stamps.com, EA Sports, Ferrari, uh, our spider put one up a little bit, and uh, aligned technology. So, so not we didn't do too well today with those um, in terms of everything else, but we did have some losers. Uh, we had Take Two, Activision, Amazon, Weight Watchers, and then Universal Display. Um, and we are in the in the money with our Intel uh, call, so that's really cool. I got to look at that. I made another mistake again. I made the mistake with Micron. I did it with Alibaba. I sold those calls. I forgot to buy them back. And Alibaba was third on our watch list today. They went up 3.66%. Uh, so I'm really, I'm really upset and disappointed with myself about that. Uh, let me see how much they went up today real quick. So they went up $7 a share today, basically. So yeah, really bummed about that. But so I need to look at selling some stuff to get back into Alibaba because I do like them and I just totally forgot to get into them. So there you go. You gotta really pay attention to what you want. So I'm gonna talk about a few articles that I saw. Uh, because they're pretty interesting. The first one, I'll post links to these in the description below so you can check them out. The first one was Whistleblower says Walmart eyeing Amazon cheated on e-commerce. So Walmart is being sued right now by a former executive who accused the world's largest retailer of issuing misleading e-commerce results amid growing pressure from Amazon and then they fired him for complaining about it. So that was really interesting. Um, I'll post a link in the description so you can read more about that. Uh, Facebook is launching a light version of their website. So Facebook Lite to launch in developed countries, including the US. And the reason they're doing this is because they wanna give access to people who are struggling with like low data connections, uh, slower mobile data connections. And uh, so that's really interesting. Um, that's, gonna, that's gonna open up the market to a lot of new people. So it says the new rollout will now be available to users in more countries, including the United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Ireland, and New Zealand, which aren't exactly uh, Oh, to more countries, including developed ones. That's what they said. So yeah, so that's interesting. You could check that one out. And also, uh, there's this one as S and P 500 Dow Jones finds resistance. These five tech stocks with high RS lines are in buy zones. Now RS stands for relative strength, and uh, I didn't know too much about them, but I'm reading it again, and it says the relative strength line tracks a stock's performance versus the S and P 500. So. If the RS is high, that means that they're outperforming the, the average S&P 500 stocks, and if it's low, it's underperforming. So you want a high RS line uh, or a high RS number. And the, the companies they mentioned are PayPal and Applied Materials, Lamb Research, ASML Holdings, and Teradine. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> but they said that PayPal is, just broke out of a cup with handle base, and I clicked on this. Let me, uh, cup on handle base, and I, I linked, they linked to another article about, which I'll also link to, talks about the three most common profitable chart patterns and the cup with handle is one of the most profitable chart patterns. So if you are looking to learn about technical analysis and you spot these patterns, it could be a good thing to look at. So anyways, they talk about PayPal, they talk about applied materials and stuff like that. It's all like technical analysis type stuff. But again, these are all companies that I like anyways. I haven't really heard of these, or if I have, I'd forget what they do. Um, but yeah, so definitely worth a look and some of you probably already invest in these companies. So that's good I want to talk about Nintendo a little bit because um, This just article just caught my eye these tiny Nintendo switch cases are ador adorable I did just get a Nintendo switch pretty recently but Look how cute these things are. Oh my gosh. So these are literally Little miniature cases because if you if you own a Nintendo switch or you've seen how small the cartridges are They're tiny. They're like they're like that big and so yeah, I mean, you literally can just pick one of these up. That's pretty much how big they are, like to size. So I thought that was really awesome. And then another thing about Nintendo Switch, they did just recently, I don't know what I did with the article, but um, they did just recently re uh, announce the new Smash Brothers game will be coming out pretty soon. So everyone was getting super hyped about that. Nintendo is approaching $60 a share. So they're just doing very well this year. And last year they did very well. So. They also recently had their one year anniversary because March 3rd was when their Switch came out. And so they're doing some good things, but people are still wanting to see uh, this character from Dragon Ball Z. I don't really know who it is because I don't, I don't really watch that show. Oh, I found it. So Funimation asks Nintendo, when will Goku 
join the fight in Super Smash Brothers. Now Funimation has the rights to Dragon Ball Z from what this article says, and they actually tweeted, they themselves tweeted at Nintendo to ask when Goku might appear in a Super Smash Brothers game. And so people have been doing petitions about it, but uh, since Funimation is directly tied to the rights, the rights of Dragon Ball outside of Japan, so if, to set, if Nintendo were to follow this up, Funimation would be able to pave the way when it came to licensed related discussions. And so a lot of people have been trying to push for that with no avail, but hopefully Nintendo, which they're not really great at listening to people, they kind of just do their own thing, but hopefully they'll listen and put that in the game because people want it. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to get the Smash Brothers game for sure. Uh, so with that said, we're going to leave it there. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, comment below how you like this, how about this length of time. I'm trying to keep them between five to seven minutes so that I can... Um, just edit them quicker and catch up because I know the number one thing I want to do is be caught up and I know that's how you guys are too and it's just I just gotta stop filming so much so this is gonna help me catch up so hopefully you guys like the video hope you had a good day and we will see you tomorrow have a good night